here at Greenbrier with Nathan Robinson, one of the top players in the state. Nathan, you've continued to add more and more offers. Continue to also add more and more pounds. Up to what, about 265 right now. <laughs> yes, sir. Just kind of take me through your growth, both on the field and off. Uh, well, here because uh, I had I had a wrist surgery in November, so that kind of kind of put me out of uh, upper body stuff uh, up in up here until about a month ago, and so I just started bench, benching again here recently. So it's just just been eating a lot. I mean, my lunch every day is rice and steak and uh, a lot of protein shakes and creatine. And so, I mean, as far as physical, it's really, I mean, and a lot of, a lot of weight in the weight room. That's, that's how I've been, been growing. Your dad's naturally a big guy. Is this something like where he's kind of been like, you're kind of hitting that same thing I did when I was your age? Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's been the, he's been the one to like, kind of push me to do all the dietary things I've been doing and I mean he's our since because he kind of took over my weight training my freshman my freshman and sophomore year and I mean he saw how well it worked and then so he actually started as our uh, strength conditioning coach uh, last week and so uh, yeah he's been really the one to kind of push me to do all the stuff to get bigger. His dad former marine yes sir was a pallbearer in Ronald Reagan's funeral. I don't know how much cooler it gets <laughs> than that. Um, you know, let's talk about you on the field. Where do you feel like your game's gotten better? Uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot faster. Uh, track season last year, I was I was able to, because I'm a thrower, uh, I was able to throw for probably 20 minutes and then uh, our receivers coach is the track coach. So I was able to do some speed work with, with him and the, and the runners. And I felt like that helped me a lot. I was able to pursue better and uh, I mean, I got a ton of sacks this year just because I, I was able to chase the quarterback to the sideline and drag him down. So I feel like definitely speed and uh, pursuit got a lot better. Take me through kind of, you know, you, you've announced the top three, um, is Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Kentucky. What, why those three? I just feel like those are the best fits for me. I, I love I love how uh, Kentucky and Ole Miss want me to play. And then, I mean, Coach Garner is the best the line coach there is and so I mean the opportunity opportunity I would, I would have to play for uh, coach Joyner, coach Garner and uh, coach White um, any of those opportunities are just one that I can't really pass up. So you told me that like right now you just don't feel like you could make a decision if you were forced to. Yeah. Um, what I guess what are you looking for? What 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 are the main things that you're kind of trying to find? Uh, well, the coaching, obviously, and then the whole cliche academics. But I really do believe that that's important because I understand that football won't won't last forever, and uh, I'm going to need some kind of plan after that. And uh, so I don't really know what I want to do in college yet. But uh, I've been I've been thinking about it more. Uh, so whatever football program and university will like help develop me the most to be a better human and more productive person. You talk about Coach Garner. What do you like about him? He's just, I mean, classic. Uh, he, he's just, he's the best, and that's as simple as I can put it. I mean, he when he was at Auburn uh, a few years ago, uh, he was Derek Brown's coach, and Derek Brown was probably one of my favorite players to watch in college, uh, and he was fifth overall pick. And so, I mean, the fact that he's just so good at developing those high-level first-round talents and I mean just being around him he's a really genuine guy and I enjoy any moment I have with him. You're getting back up to Tennessee you took junior days to Ole Miss and Kentucky in January you're coming to Tennessee March 5th for the junior day is that what are you looking forward to about seeing that trip and what do you hope to see? Uh, well I mean at this point I've seen pretty much pretty much everything there and uh, I mean that's that's why they made my top three is because I like all that I see and so pretty much all that I've left is just more in-depth uh, like campus and uh, dorms and uh, just the more academic part of it. And that's really all I have left at uh, all three of these universities. Getting closer to a decision now with a top three, that being Ole Miss, Kentucky, and Tennessee, Nathan Robinson here at Greenbrier.